Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. On Tuesday, September 13th, we're finally going to get our hands on the pit. And with that, Season 10 and also a few automatic melee weapons are getting higher levels. One of those is the most beloved and has always been at level, I think, 20, uh, has been the chainsaw. But now, with the update, they will drop at level 50. And with level 50, I wanted to show you guys that there are four mods in total that you can add to the chainsaw. Two, you have to scrap the chainsaw to learn the mods, and the other two mods you can purchase from vendors around Appalachia. So let's get started. So here's the first of my top three locations, the Ranger District Office, just a little bit north of Watoga. There's a garage out back. And I picked these three because they're easy to fast travel to, check and move on, or jump servers. You'll find the chainsaw laying across the lids of these ammo boxes. The second location is the basement inside the mountainside bed and breakfast. Now this location is inaccessible and locked, so you're going to have to use the photo mode glitch, uh, which I'm not going to show. Uh, if you know how to do it, great. If you don't, uh, go look for a different video on the internet to figure out how to use the photo mode glitch. Just proceed down to the basement. The door is inaccessible. Do your photo mode glitch and and you will appear on the opposite side of the door. And there's a steel shelving unit. Grab your chainsaw. Now they're now, as I said, dropping at level 50. If you currently have one, it will not upscale in level. You can see there I have a level 30 chainsaw. It will always be 30. It's not going to improve its level. You have to go out and find new ones when the game goes live. And the last third, top three, is the metal dome. And all you have to do is enter the metal dome. You're just going to, it's the fastest way through. Just travel all the way through, come out on the other side, and it'll be a little metal building on your right-hand side. I did not find one here, but I'm going to show you precisely where to pick it up. This building right here, part of an airplane fuselage, and it will be resting on the floor right where that uh, pipe is right now. So those are the top three spawn locations for chainsaws. Now let's have a look at the mods. Now, go ahead and look for the chainsaws now in the game because you can scrap them to learn two of the four plans. And I'm going to demonstrate here. I also want to show you, yes, you can roll them legendary. Yes, at level 50. So let's go ahead and scrap a level 50 chainsaw and watch the upper left corner. You have unlocked the dual bar. So like I said, two can be unlocked from scrapping and two can be purchased from vendors. So let's have a look at the dual bar chainsaw. Remember, this is a level 20. I've got the image up, so don't go buy the damage or anything like that. That's going to improve when it hits level 50. So dual bar can be unlocked through scrapping. The other one that can be unlocked is the standard bow bar, which gives armor piercing. And the next two are the flaming chainsaw. This mod can be purchased from the Watoga train station vendor or the supermarket vendor that's near Watoga. A lot of the vendors sell these two, the flamer. And the last one is the longbow, and that allows targets to bleed. So four total, two that you can scrap and learn, and two that you can purchase the mods for. So we can hardly wait to get our hands on the chainsaw at level 50 and start rolling them legendary and adding all of these mods. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you out in the wasteland.